Welcome to the Twinkle Virtual House Build. In this video, we're going to have a go at being an architect and designing and constructing our perfect home. There are lots of different stages to building a house, digging the foundations, choosing the right building materials, designing the interior layout of your building, and even things like plumbing and electrics. And you can explore all of these stages by completing your virtual house build tasks. Look out for the resource below. As you complete tasks on the virtual house build PowerPoint, you'll collect pieces of a house to track your progress. You can even customise your virtual house with different design styles. So grab your hard hats, let's go architects. But what does an architect actually do? Architecture is the process of designing and constructing buildings. An architectural brief can be as large as designing an entire city or a house or just a single room. There are so many different types of house. Let's have a look and see how many you can name. Can you match the picture to the words? Did you get them all right? Which type of house do you live in? Perhaps your house is different to all these pictures. And in other parts of the world, houses look really different. Let's take a look at some of those. Which one would you choose to live in and why? Right, time to get building our own virtual house. The process will start with demolition and then the digging of foundations. It's challenge time. Let's have a look at some of the vehicles and equipment involved in demolition and the digging of foundations. Have a go at matching the vehicles with their names. Let's see how many you got right. Before we build up, we need to dig down and create some foundations for our building. In the same way that a tree needs roots to keep it strong and steady, a building needs foundations for the same reasons. And the taller the building, the deeper the foundations. So let's do a little experiment to find out why buildings need foundations. I've got my block of flats here and I'm going to have a go at constructing this without any foundations at all. I'm going to stand my block of flats in the mud and see how strong it is. Well, it's a bit wobbly and it doesn't take much just to knock it over. It doesn't feel that stable. So let's get digging. I'm going to dig out some foundations ready for my block of flats to stand in. I've made the walls of my block of flats longer. So now they're going to go below the soil line. Let's give it a try and see if it's any stronger. So here's my block of flats now dug into the foundations and you can see it's much stronger. Once the foundations are built, it's time to build the walls. And in the UK, these are usually built from bricks. Now bricks are made from clay. They're shaped into rectangular blocks and then baked to make them hard. Some bricks can be really big, like these. They can be lots of different colours. And they're all held together by cement, which sandwiches the bricks together. But did you know that some brick patterns are stronger than others? Here's three different brick patterns. Stretcher bond, herringbone and basket weave. Challenge time! Which do you think is the weakest pattern? It's basket weave which is why you won't often see it used on walls. Have a look around your local area and see what brick patterns you can discover. You'll find a resource to help you with this in your virtual house build pack. An architect's job often involves creating a floor plan. A floor plan is a scale diagram of how the rooms will be arranged from a bird's eye view as if we're looking down into the building from above. So let's say I want my house to be 20 metres wide. Well, it wouldn't be very sensible to draw a plan that was 20 metres wide, plus I'd need a very big piece of paper. So instead, architects use scale diagram and my scale is going to be one metre equals one centimetre. So every time I want to draw a metre, I draw one centimetre instead. Why not have a go at designing your floor plan? Or you can use one of the templates. You can add where you'd like windows and doors to be, and even furniture. It's now time to think about something called aesthetics. 
which means making the inside space or the interior beautiful. And that's the job of an interior designer. Now, what you think is beautiful and what I think is beautiful could be two very different things. And that's what makes interior design so exciting. And it's also what makes our homes all so unique. Let's play a little game to work out what sort of style might suit your perfect home. Three yellow sofas, but they're all a bit different. Which one would you pick? Time to design the kitchen. Which fridge would you choose? Three very different beds. Which one's your favourite? How about wallpaper? Which one would you pick? Design even includes the garden. What would your perfect garden look like? Once your virtual house build is complete, don't forget to collect your certificate. <laughs>